What's good YouTube, Nate the Mass Collector, uh, back with another PSA submission, regular submission level that I'm gonna be putting in. This was logged on February 27th, so before the price increase. Um, I got a whole bunch of them that I logged in before the price increase went into effect today, which is March 1st. So, doing a video on all these. So this one here, um, not a lot of the same cards as before, but again, I'm trying to space, I don't want to send multiples to the same card at the same time. I just think it's a recipe for disaster when you have graders looking at the same card or something to compare it to. So, um, <clears throat> here's what we got. So Christian Wood, raised rookie, 2015 again. This is probably the last one I'm gonna send in as a uh, regular submission. The other one I have has got a couple of dents in it, so I'm not gonna send that one off as a regular submission. Um, here's the rookies version. This one looks pretty good. Um, it's got a little thing up here, but I don't know if that's gonna take it down too much. Looks good all the way around. Um, LeBron, so this is his uh, third year card, this is 2005, Tops. Got Shaq's uh, rookie card, 92 draft pick, Tops. It's uh, not centered, the Left to right, it's perfect. Top to bottom, not so much. But I, I put the Grade Master tool on it, and it looks like it's gonna be okay as far as um, 60/40 is concerned. Oops. So we can just take a look here quick. If you haven't seen the Grade Master tool, here it is. Uh, you just line up your card as best you can on the corners. I mean, every little millimeter makes a difference here. Um, that's pretty pretty good. Out of here. Okay, so the top looks like it's on the, between the three and the four lines. And the bottom is on a five. So we can check out this. So we got three and a four on top and a five. So five and a four we're good. Um, I'm trying to see if it's a little bit. It looks like it's definitely more towards the three than the four. So we pretty much got a uh, three and a five, which is, man, it's, it's really close, but probably not enough. But it's a, if it makes a nine, because everything else looks pretty good. I mean, that, that's a decent, decent grade for it. Kobe Bryant, 96 clear. Metal, rookie. Last one I got of his. Uh, Jordan SP1, upper deck, 1991. I'm assuming this is going to get a, uh, a 9 or an 8. So we got a 4 on top. Well, you never know. PSA might. Because we got basically a 3 line at the bottom. And a three, almost four at the top. So it's pretty close, actually. It might make a 10, centering-wise. Um, 
it's got kind of uh, one of those cut corners where you or edges where you can kind of see some of the little fiber. But other than that, looks pretty good. The hologram is perfect. So you're still hoping for a 10, but I think it's probably going to be a nine on the high side, I think. But I'll take a nine. <clears throat> One of my favorite cards. Uh, another starting lineup. 1988. Uh, this one again looks really, really good. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the corners on this thing from, from up there or not, but when I'm looking at the edges and the corners on this thing, um, looks they look really good. really good the back not centered the best but the uh, front side looks really nice so here's to hoping for a 10 on this bad boy even a nine I would be happy with um, the sales on these things are going through the roof uh, 1990 starting lineup brown border perfect all the way around for the most part this thing's actually got a little ruler in here too like a right angle it's cool but just looking at it it looks really you know this is I think is 30 30x and it looks pretty good so but I'm starting to run low on I think I got like three left of each of these yellow and browns and I think I probably got six or seven more of the the 1988s um, here's the yellow border in 1990 88 Fleer Jordan sticker. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think if this one had any wax and build up on the back or not. I, and I think it does, but um, it, it's got a little bit of stuff here on the back, but it's not terrible. Like, I don't want to try to rub more off to possibly damage the actual surface of the card, so I'm just going to kind of leave it as it is. Uh, face side is, is pretty nice, so I think I'm just going to take my chances on it. That's pretty much the last nice one I have of this. I have more, but they're either caked with wax on the back or <clears throat> off center too much. Um, 88 Fleer All-Star Jordan. So not a 10, I don't think, but it definitely could be a nine. Um, mainly because the back looks really, really nice. So there's no, you know, centering is pretty much the only thing wrong with this thing. Uh, Scotty Pippen, 88, Fleer, um, I'm thinking 8 or a 9 on this, which would definitely, you know, 
pay for the submission, possibly. If that doesn't, this will definitely. Uh, Rodman's rookie. This one looks really nice. Um, the top to the bottom centering is not the best, but I think it's um, within those parameters that would make it a 10 on the 60-40 scale here. So we got a two, two and a three. Um, it's closer to the three on the top and on the bottom it's almost out of four. So it's really close to that 60-40 if not in it. So three and a four is there. So it should be fine. But again, it's noticeable, so maybe they downgrade it. Looks like a nine. Gronk, tops. Pretty nice. Centered pretty much perfectly. No issues on the surface. It's the only Gronk card I even have. I think I bought it when he got came out of retirement. Uh, this is the nicest Bo Jackson 90 score that I have. So I'm going to send this one in. Love this card. Um, I think it's definitely got a possible 10 on it. Not much wrong with it. And we got... King Griffey Jr. So this is one I pulled from a pack in 89. I did a video of me taking these out of the uh, screw down boxes. <laughs> the screw down cases they were in for 30 years, 32 years. But obviously one of the most iconic sports cards of the 90s or 80s and 90s, that's for sure. I don't think it's a 10, but I just want to get it slabbed up quicker than sooner than later so uh this one here is pippin and jordan this is fleer 96 game breakers so it's got like a translucent um, it's like acetate so you can kind of see the you can see through the crack in the middle. Um, there's some little like manufacturing little squiggles on here or something. I don't know what it is, but it's not coming off. But I know it's not going to get a 10. I don't think so, anyways. But it's it's a it's a pretty rare um, insert. Not really rare. I mean, you can find them, but. Um, I don't know, it's pretty cool. I pulled it from a pack when I was collecting back then. And my last one is Allen Iverson Skybox Premium. So this is the best um, quality Iverson that I had in my binder um, based on what I pulled when I was a young lad. So I think this one's got a shot been a sleeve or page binder for forever but that's what I got for this one um, this is going on regular submission I'll probably ship it out later this week and um, yeah it'll be fun to see how these uh, turnaround times are impacted now with the price increases that it went through I'm sure a lot of people were like me and definitely jumped all over the you know get as many submissions as you want in and just make sure you ship them out within two or three weeks but um yeah i got some more i'll do some more videos but i just want to get a couple of these done so i could finish cleaning them up and uh get them packed up and and ready for shipment so thanks a lot you guys for watching i appreciate it um had a lot of nice uh conversations and and messages on the last 
video I put out for my regular submission um, this last weekend about the price increases and making sure you guys get them in. And I think some of you guys did. One guy commented that I saved him 2000 bucks because of uh, you know his uh, submission he was putting in would have doubled in price if he would have waited another day. So thanks a lot, appreciate it. Please subscribe, like the video, hit the bell, and uh, you'll be notified of new video content when I put them out. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.